Welcome to our video today, where we'll be discussing two important concepts in identity and access management, role-based access control, RBAC, and attribute-based access control, ABAC. These are both key terms and concepts that you may have come across if you're working in cybersecurity or IT. We'll explain what each of these terms means and how they differ from each other. What is RBAC? RBAC is a method of access control that limits access to resources based on the roles assigned to users. Each user is assigned a specific role, which determines what resources they have access to. RBAC is often used in large organizations where many users have access to a variety of resources. For example, in a hospital, a doctor may have access to patient records, while a nurse may only have access to patient vitals. This is because the doctor's role requires access to more sensitive information than the nurse's role. RBAC simplifies the management of user access by reducing the number of access control policies that need to be managed. What is ABAC? ABAC is a more flexible method of access control that takes into account a wider range of factors when deciding whether to grant access to a resource. These factors can include things like a user's job title, department, location, or even the time of day. ABAC is often used in organizations with more complex access control requirements. For example, in a financial institution, a trader may have access to trading systems during trading hours, but not outside of trading hours. ABAC can also be used to control access to physical resources, such as a server room or laboratory. ABAC is more granular than RBAC and allows for more fine-grained control over access to resources. Differences between RBAC and ABAC the main difference between RBAC and ABAC is that RBAC is based on user roles, while ABAC takes into account a wider range of attributes when making access control decisions. RBAC is often used in large organizations with a more rigid access control structure, while ABAC is more flexible and can be used in organizations with more complex access control requirements. ABAC allows for more fine-grained control over access to resources, which can be important in organizations where different users require different levels of access to resources. ABAC can also be more complex to manage than RBAC due to the increased number of factors that need to be taken into account when making access control decisions. In conclusion, RBAC and ABAC are two important concepts in identity and access management. Understanding these terms can help you better manage user access to resources in your organization, ensuring that only authorized users have access to sensitive information and systems. By leveraging the right access control methods and protocols, you can help keep your organization secure and protect against unauthorized access. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe if you liked the content.